integrate x squared times cosine x solution. Because we have a term that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero, and the other term can be integrated easily, we can use what's called tabular integration. So to do that, we write down x squared, and then we write down cosine x. And then we just keep differentiating x squared. So 2x, 2, and then 0. And then we keep integrating cosine x. So let's see, sine x, right? And that checks, because if you take the derivative of sine, you get cosine. And then negative cosine x. And that checks, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and we already have a negative. And then negative sine x. The next thing we do is put plus and minus signs in front of these guys. So plus, minus, plus minus. Then we draw arrows, just like this. And the last step is to write the answer down. So the answer, following the first arrow, we get x squared sine x. Following the second arrow, negative and negative is positive, so we get 2x cosine x. And following the last arrow, we get minus 2 sine x. And then we still have the plus c at the end. And that's it. I hope that made sense.